Thanks for tuning in. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use a non-surf, which is basically a kind of almost like a front end to access the, uh, uh, the Tor servers, the onion routing project. It basically allows you to anonymize for the most, as much as possible, your connection to the internet. Um, if you'd like videos on SEO, WordPress, uh, WordPress security, WordPress performance, and a little bit of, um, like penetration testing stuff, Kali Linux, which I'm doing a little bit of here, subscribe, like, notification bell, blah, 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 blah. So let's go ahead and get started. You need to go to your Kali Linux install, get it all running. Then the first, then you want to open the console window up here. And what I like to do, I like to make my font a little bigger because I'm older and I can't look at look, read uh, read text as easy as I used to. So you just do Control Shift plus plus plus. And what you want to do is, if you're not logged in as root, you just I normally log in as root, but it's not a good practice, so I don't do it on these videos. I'm going to do sudo, which allows people, uh, users with non, uh, to temporarily um, run programs with, that have root, that, that require root privilege, as long as they're, if, if they're configured to do so. So we want to do sudo apt get. So what we're doing here is we want to, first thing we want to do is make sure we, everything's up to date. So this is going to up, update some of the distribution font. This is Kali Linux. Um, I'll show you the version here. Well, let me just show you. In order to get the version, you can do, I think it's LSB release dash is it a right so this is Kali Linux 20221 so just FYI this you can do a tab and it'll autocomplete enter your password for your user so this is the password for Ryan and it's gonna do its thing so it's gonna install all these files it's quite a bit here I haven't uploaded this just this this um, this Kali installation in quite some time so my guess is probably this is gonna take about probably five to ten minutes so I'm gonna go ahead and click yes and pause it, and I will um, come back when it's complete. Okay, so I blew right through that, and I, it looks like there was a, I didn't read the message. The following packages were automatically installed and are no longer required. So it lists them all, and it says use sudo apt auto remove. So what we're going to do that, We're going to do that, and we're going to let that go. We're going to hit yes. We're going to let that go, and we will be back. Okay, while it's doing that, actually, let me show you a couple things. Um, just so you can see, the IP address that I'm connecting from is 174.64.22.58. And I wanted to also show you another way you can check the Kali version is cat etsy. That's the OS release. So you can see here, where is it? 2022.1. So that's just another way to check it. So let's see if it's still going. 53% done. It's been about two minutes. So we're going to pause it and we'll be right back. So that finished. Took about probably about four minutes. Next thing we want to do is apt-get. We want to update the packages. Apt-get. So you want to do update to do a refresh. Whoops. Oh, okay, I made a typo. Working, so it's going to do it's. It's going to refresh. Um, this isn't going to download the packet. This is just going to up, update the catalog. Um, so I'm going to pause it, and we'll be right back. So that finished. It took about a minute. So now we want to do apt get upgrade. So this is actually going to download the new packages. It's going to check for what's new, and it's going to upgrade them all. So you can see here there's quite a bit. Like I said, I haven't upgraded this install in a long time because I really use this install, this Kali Linux VM to test things out. It's not one that I actively use. So we're going to ahead and click yes. And this is generally the one that's going to take the longest. So we're going to pause it and we'll be back soon. Okay, so that finished up. That took about 10 minutes or so. So let's go ahead and do the next step. So the next thing you want to do is make a directory. Call it whatever you want. Just call it a non serve that kind of makes sense. Then go into the directory. Hopefully you know how to navigate with the command line. Then the next thing you need, you need to clone it from git. I got, I'll put this command in the description below. Right click. You can also do control shift V, I think, but we're going to just paste it. Enter. So it's cloning it down. Whoops. Then you want to run the install. So you got to do the dot slash installer.sh. Whoops. So we do sudo. I'll do what I want. And 
And that is normally doesn't take that long. Interesting. I'm going to go ahead and pause it while this tries to connect. I've never actually seen it take that long. So we're going to go ahead and pause it and we'll be right back. Okay, I actually had a pro this is the next day. I had a problem with that VM, so I actually had to do it on another VM. But after that gets finished, um, that should now all you have to do is type a non surf and you do nothing, you can get the list of commands, right? So right now, if I look for my IP address, it's 174.64.22.58. To start, well, to see what the status is of a non surf, you do a, a non surf status. You can see here it's inactive. Now, whoops, you can hit Control C to get, let me see if that. So you hit Control C to get out of that. So if you want to start it, all you do is a non start. Oh, you got to do this root, so sudo a non serve start. Enter your password. And so this is routing through all the onion routers. Whoops. So going through the Tor network is generally significantly slower because you're, you're hopping through a lot of different servers. So now if we do status, you can see that it's active. Now let's look at my, P, my IP address. So remember before it was 174.64. See, it's 95, and you can see here now it's coming from Florida. Now that's gonna it's gonna jump around. Um, oh, at it, it, this, you can also hit Q. That'll also get out of it. Now, if you want to, there's a bunch of different commands. So start is what we did. If you want to stop it, that just stops it. You can do a restart. You can do a change. So what a change is, it's gonna give you a new IP address. So you're gonna you're gonna route through a b bunch of different. Um, um, servers routers whatever so let's do we did that so let's do a refresh so this is 95 and it's going to change to actually it didn't change let's try this again let me refresh that again interesting okay I, I thought that was fixed i noticed that a long time ago but i thought they fixed it let me do it again Okay, let's do this. Maybe it's cached. So the, I'm not going to edit this video because I want you guys to see if you run into these problems, how to fix them. Okay, well, th there's another way you can do it. So you can do my IP, and this will show you m your IP address. Ninety three one seventy four eighty nine one thirty one. Okay, so let's do it. Let's do change. So it could be that web page was cached or something. I don't know. Let's do my IP. So remember before it was ninety three. So it changed. It did change. So remember before it was ninety three one seventy four eighty nine one thirty one. Now it's one eighty five fifty six eighty fifty. I think that's all. Whoops. Um, status change. You don't need to do I two P stuff. So that's it. Um. Yeah, if, if you like this video, uh, you hit the hit the like button, notification bell, subscription, all that stuff. Again, I do WordPress uh, security. I do some Kali Linux. I'm getting. I'm starting to do more Kali Linux, SEO, website performance, specifically WordPress performance. So if there's anything you'd like, let me know. But I would appreciate a like. And you know, if you want to do a subscription, that's cool too. Put on the notification bell, and that's that would be awesome. And if there's any videos you'd like me to do, let me know, and I will get them out. See ya. Thank <laughs> you.